With this founder in car, today we will discuss um, this type of roof. This is sunroof, but sunroof and panorama, panoramic roof, or also panorama view roof. Those are things to consider if you like a little bit more light on your uh, heads. This gives you a lot more roomy feel. And if you can compare it, this is very easy because you can just do as if it is a normal roof by just sliding this and then you see how much darker it becomes and how much lighter it becomes when you open the roof. So I had uh, quite a few uh, cars with uh, a sunroof like this and I always kept it open like you see it now. So even on the freeway, I'll try to keep it open because I'm on the freeway now doing 100 kilometers an hour. But on the freeway you could uh, also close it. And why is that? Because the, the faster you're driving, the more um, the sound insulation that you're missing will have an influence. But as you see, we are speaking like this. And I hope you really uh, are able to still hear me. So it's not that bad. But at a higher speed or top speed, of course, it's a completely different ball game. And the panoramic roof I had it only on one car, the, my uh, former car, the Tesla Model S, which had a complete panoramic roof, which was excellent, of course. And I also had some, uh, I think it was uh, Peugeot uh, 308 SW, so the yeah, more MPV type of car. I had some uh, experiences there, and also in the Citroën. C4 with also that panoramic roof. I have not driven them myself or owned them myself but I spent quite some time in uh, those cars and also like the roomy feel there. So in general what to, what to take into consideration if you are considering a panoramic roof or uh, a sunroof. First the panoramic roof it's one a solid stage so it normally cannot open. There's also a Tesla Model S with this sunroof uh, functionality, which can also open, but that's different than the panoramic roof. The panoramic roof was a complete glass uh, plate. I know that some uh, car producers also make uh, sunroofs into panoramic roofs, but I did not have that. So it will increase, of course, the roominess in the Tesla. It also increases the headspace because it is it can be higher uh, in the higher place into the car but it will also have some drawbacks so Tesla Model S is an extremely safe car but it is even safer when you have a steel roof of course it's, that must be said another thing to take into consideration at one time uh, it's a little bit stone uh, yeah that was propelled up for example file of a truck I don't know but it hit me on the roof and that made a little bit of a uh, yeah scratch into the panoramic roof which would also perhaps be a scratch on the metallic uh, roof that you had but glass can easily dispense and then become uh, yeah. yeah become broken for a bigger a bigger uh, area so the, you also make your car a little bit more fragile also to take into consideration oftentimes this uh, option of this roof is also more costly than a steel roof and a thing to take into consideration is that a panoramic roof often puts additional weight to the car so Tesla already had a very stiff and safe construction but sometimes uh, car producers make cars with panoramic roof um, stronger at the top to just compensate for the glass which is more fragile than steel of course and that has a detrimental effect on the weight but also puts the weight very high into the car which also has a detrimental effect on cornering speeds because you place weight high you want to have the center of gravity as low as possible so that's something to take into consideration similar can be said for uh, a sunroof so a sunroof is it has the best of both worlds you can just decide whatever you want also some panoramic roofs can become extremely hot in summer or colder in the winter because oftentimes it doesn't insulate that uh, well but modern day uh, the solutions do and you can also have uh, double glass in the windows of your uh, home and they insulate the uh, accident so it is not something that cannot be done so you should not worry about that too much in my opinion 
but uh, it must be said. If you look at the sunroof, you have, uh, as I mentioned, you can close it and uh, also open it, so the insulation factor is not that much of a part because you have glass, which can insulate a little bit, but also the insulation that you can just, uh, uh, yeah, just open and close. Also with the sunroof, you can open and close it, but you can also uh, make the, the window tilt a little bit so that you have a little bit of cabrio feel, which is excellent, of course. Really, really nice. And uh, you have almost all the benefits of uh, an open top if, if you're sitting in the front and sometimes even sitting at the rear because the wind will blow uh, to the rear. But with uh, little, little to no of the, uh, drawbacks, especially the integrity of the, the car, you still have a roof so you don't make your car a lot less uh, stiff. But you are adding complexity. Uh, which it can break, for example, the mechanism can break the motors that are propelling uh, and opening and closing the sunroof. So see, now it's opened. They can just break down on you. Huh? And you also can tilt it a little bit, if needed. But uh, they of course can, uh, can break and also uh, the complexity is that they are rubber seals so that it doesn't leak into the cabin if there is moisture on top of your car. And this is not something that you will easily break, this sliding part. This is oftentimes the, the strongest bit into your sunroof. But it's something to consider. Some uh, say that they might break under the sun. The sun takes away a little bit of the heat and uh, it's, it's a form of plastic very often. So that they can just uh, be in time consumed by the sun and they are just made brittle from a more flexible plastic. It then becomes more brittle plastic which can break. So it can be something to take into consideration. Also a thing is that you have more weight because you don't only have a construction that needs to be The construction not only needs to be stiffer because you have to compensate for this part but also there's glass in and glass is quite heavy uh, you can make a steel plate a lot uh, lighter for the similar uh, uh, stiffness of course and you have the engines that are opening and closing uh, the car in place which can also uh, add to the weight of course so there are some things just uh, to take into consideration and also those uh, seals can leak in time so you could have a leaky solution in time hope you like this little video found my car out